Authorities are expected to announce the arrest Wednesday of a suspect in the decades-old East Area Rapist case, the Bee has learned. The suspect has been living in the Sacramento area and was identified after a renewed push of the investigation by the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department and District Attorney Anne-Marie Schubert, a source said. The East Area Rapist, also known as the Golden State Killer, the original Night Stalker and the Diamond Knot Killer, is believed to have killed at least 12 people, raped at least 45 victims and burglarized hundreds of homes. FBI agents and law enforcement from Sacramento County and Southern California were outside a home this morning in Citrus Heights, near the city border with Roseville. Joseph James Dungello has lived there for at least two decades, public records show. Dungello, 72, is listed in Sacramento County jail records as being booked early this morning on two counts of murder from a Ventura County Sheriff's Department warrant. Authorities would not confirm Dungello as the East Area Rapist suspect Wednesday morning, but one official at the house said more information would be available at a noon press conference. Ventura County officials referred inquiries to Sacramento County, and D'Angelo's name does not appear in online Ventura Superior Court records. The press conference is being held at the District Attorney Crime Lab in Sacramento. Authorities believe he raped 37 people in the Sacramento area and Central Valley and killed two between 1976 and 1978. From there, authorities believe he moved on to the Bay Area in Southern California. He is believed to have committed at least nine sexual assaults in Sacramento, six in Rancho Cordova and Citrus Heights, four in Carmichael, three in Davis, two in Orangeville and one in Antelope between. 1976 and July 1978, officials also have investigated whether he had ties to a similar spree in Australia, but a source say the suspect authorities identified has been living in the Sacramento area. Then Citrus Heights resident Jane Carson Sandler was sexually assaulted at knife point by a man believed to be the East Area Rapist in 1976. Carson Sandler, who now lives in Sun City, SC, told the Island Packet newspaper Wednesday she had been contacted by two detectives about the rapist's arrest. The man's arrest picture was not familiar to Carson Sandler, she said, I just found out this morning, she told the Island Packet. I'm overwhelmed with joy. I've been crying, sobbing, true crime writer Michelle McNamara's book I'll Be Gone in the Dark reached no. One on the New York Times bestseller list last month and drew renewed attention to the case. A documentary on the search for the killer aired at the Delta King Theater in Old Sacramento earlier this month. This is a breaking news story. Please return to Safi.com for updates. Benji Eagle, 916-321-1052, at Benji Eagle.